Welcome back to Stat Wars, the league. It's a big one today. You've all been waiting for it. Myself versus Patrick Van Straten. How's it going? Uh, it's good. It's good. I actually like it when I'm up against somebody like you, as opposed to, you know, the Shams or the Henrys of the world, Ooh, because I know that if I lose, there's no shame. Yeah. Um, not that I'm planning to lose. Having said that, you're not in the strongest position Am this I not? season. I feel like you've lost a few games. I feel, like I've been, I feel like I lost one or two at the beginning, but I feel like I've been winning okay, relentlessly since okay, then. Okay, fair enough. Fair relentlessly. Enough. I've clearly not been watching your games enough. I not been know. studying <laughs> enough. I, I was just watching Henry and Sam's episode before this, and I, I fear for Henry, I can't lie. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get straight on with the questions. That was the league. Congratulations for clicking on this video. Pat and Michael are gonna fight for your entertainment. And the first question goes to Pat from Eden in the Discord. And he said, from all the teams to progress into the UCL knockouts, who's the only team with a negative goal difference from the group stage? I made that so much more convoluted than it needs to be, but we got there in the end. So it really needs to be somebody who took a, took a battering, uh, but still managed to go through. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really remember a thing about the Champions League group stage. I remember Tottenham being crap, but you they know. Did, oh, they did make it through, didn't but they? But they yeah, pulled yeah. out of the bag. Not a bad shout. Um, so, it feels like it should be somebody who was in one of those groups with, you know, a super club, a Bayern, a Manchester City. I don't remember who was in City's group, which feels like it'd be useful information to have. Did Dortmund make it through? Can't remember. I don't have a better guess. I'm going to say Dortmund. Probably went out in the group stage. Mm. Ooh, Would never have got it. Wow, in yeah, Spurs' is group. Dortmund did go through and they found Chelsea. Okay, okay, yeah. Next question to you, Mikey, comes in from Ardit. And he asks, how many goals did Diego Costa score? Diego Costa score for Atletico Madrid with a leeway of five. What? Ooh, that's not bad. It's a pretty good leeway. Um, so it's, it must be a fair amount. So that's across, that's not just in his last time there. I mean, it must be over 50, right? I think he scored like 30 to 35 in all comps that season that he then got moved to Chelsea. That was his one real season there, wasn't it? 2013, 14. He may have scored like five the season before. So let's say around 40 and then goes to Chelsea, comes back in like 2018, 19. Yeah. And then barely plays really, does he? Like, God, what a career. I'm just going to go ahead and say... I think you can get this. Yeah, I'm going to say 51. <laughs> oh. What would you have said? I'd have probably said 45. 83. 83? What? what? Where was the other season there? He must have banged in another season. <laughs> Next question to you, Pat, comes in from Rami on the Discord. I'm seeing a theme here. Uh, who is Argentina's second top scorer at World Cups? A bit of advice on this one. Trust your gut. So, so Messi, Messi number one. I know Maradona has at least mm. at least five. I suspect he got another couple at Italian 90. So I imagine he's got probably seven or eight. Then the other contender, I guess, is Batistuta, who was Argentina's top scorer before Messi took over from him. So it could be somebody else, but if it is somebody else... That'd be mad. Yeah, it could be like Mario Kempes. Could be Mario mm. Kempes. I do think Kempes was top scorer in 78 when they won it. Could be Batistuta, but I suspect I'm gonna, I'm gonna suspect not, just because of the way his career kind of went. Like after 2002, he started to get a lot of injuries. Um, I am gonna say, I'm gonna say Kempes. Why not? Oh. Was it Batista? I think I would have gone for Maradona. You know. Next question to you, Mikey, comes in from Hydra and he asks, who is the current Bundesliga player who has the most Bundesliga goals? Now, once again, trust your gut. I should have had a gut to be able to move around here, but trust your gut. Oh, so it's not Robert Lewandowski anymore. There are a couple of obvious candidates. Here, yeah, I mean, Marco Royce has probably got to be up there, mm. but a lot of seasons marred by injury. Anthony Modeste has scored quite a lot of Bundesliga goals over the years. Oh, Timo Werner at Leipzig. He scored a lot of, uh, of Bundesliga goals. I think I'm going to go for it. 
because I can't think, no one else is like really striking out on me. I feel, I, I feel fairly confident that Werner will have scored more than Royce for some reason. I'm gonna go Timo Werner. Surely it's got to be either Royce or Muller. Muller. It's Marco Royce. Oh. Both of you have talked yourself out of answers in the last mm. two questions that you knew. Dill Pickle brings us our penultimate round one question and he asks, can you name two of the four players to have scored two own goals in a single Premier League match? Okay, so Valtfass this season. Of course, yeah. Um, oh, I know the other one as well, I think. I think I know the other one. Shit, two own goals in a game. I mean, I know Richard Dunn has the record yeah. for own goals in the Premier League, but did he ever get a brace? That's a, that's a big question. Yeah. Two own goals in a match. Oh, my God. Did Cara do it? Feels like kind of carrot energy. I mean, that is just a nonsense. Wasn't there some game as well where it was like 2 2 and one player scored all the goals? Yeah, that's okay. the game. That's the game I'm thinking of, I think. I don't really have a smart answer here. I, I don't think I'm going to get it. Just say Carragher. Yeah. Carragher's actually a good guess, I think. Like yeah, but so he's done, right? Yeah. I'm going to say done. <laughs> was, was, it, was it? Was it by any chance? Was it John Walters? One of the answers. Really? The other one was Jamie Carragher. And one. Michael Proctor. No idea who that is. So I actually one, could have yeah. got one of them. I would never have got Walters or yeah. this other geezer. Yeah, yeah. Could have got yeah, that's what's annoying. Again, three in a row here. You've all said no. Jesus. This is bleak stuff. Mikey, you could take the first round here with a question from Chloe from the Discord. And she asks, how many wins did Man City get in the 21-22 league campaign with a leeway of one? 21-22, uh, so that was last season. Literally no idea how many points they This got. is the thing, how many points did they actually get? Did, was it even that good a season? It probably was quite... Oh yeah, of course it was, because it was they, they, it was an actual title race for Liverpool. Did they end up with like 95 points or something? I think if you, if you get to the 90s, it's likely that you've won at least 29 or 30 games. Do I go 30 or 31? With a gun to my head, I couldn't tell you how many points yeah. City got last season. I'm going to play the averages here. Hopefully it works. 30. It's huge. Oh, yeah, yes! Well Bang on or not? Just 29. 29, wow. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I feel like that was the, maybe the kindest uh, question of the round. But, you know. They were all like within, lose some. within like touching distance. They were so and close. Yet we didn't get them. Mikey takes the first round, but we move quickly on to Hot Potato. And this one comes in from Eden. And he asks, can you name every player to have scored 10 goals in a single UTL season this century? Lewandowski. Yes. Messi. Yes. Mbappe. No. Ronaldo. Yes. Benzema. Yes. Mane. Yes. Van Nistelrooy. Yes. Firmino. Yes. Salah. Yes. Uh, Omri. No. Raul. Rooney, uh, Forlan, uh, Suarez, oh my god, uh, Neymar, Kaká, oh Jesus, uh, Crespo, Inzaghi, Shevchenko, Drogba, mm, man, uh, Royce, oh. yes. Oh, that was good. That was a good battle. That was a good battle. Qual high quality stuff, that. Oh, my God. High quality stuff. Who was left? You had Mario Gomez. Really? Oh, yeah. Erling Haaland. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Haaland. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Jardel, yeah. and Rivaldo. Fair. I, I don't we, feel I that we, bad yeah, about that list. It's only really early Haaland that's, like, screaming at us. Yeah, there. exactly. That feels, that feels respectable. You did well. So if you win this, you've won the show. I've won the show, yeah, yeah. Mikey, you could take the whole thing in this one question. So turn your brain on, stop umming and ahhing, and, and focus. You've got this. This one comes from Ardit, and he asks, can you name all the Europa League winners this century? The teams, not the players, because that would be a very long list. Um, oh, Man United. Yeah. Uh, Sevilla. Yeah. Chelsea. Yeah. 
Shakhtar Donetsk. Yeah. Atletico Madrid. Yes. Porto. Yes. Um, Zenit St. Petersburg. Yes. Juventus. Mm. Mm, Barcelona. No. Mm. Uh, um, Valencia. Yes. Um, Liverpool. Yes. Mm, you've already said Chelsea, haven't you? Oh my God. I track Frankfurt. Yes. Oh. Um, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my. Oh, CSK Moscow. Yes. Three, two, one. Rangers. No. Game Done. over. Oh. oh. Oof. Huge. Oh huge. my God. Huge. I hate Europa League. <laughs> <laughs> They're so bad, man. Who do we have left? Wow. Only two left. God, Jesus. really. Oh my god, definitely wouldn't have that. Villarreal. Villarreal? When, oh, of course, they won it the last year, the year before last. Fuck me. Hey. Okay. Wow, okay. Probably wouldn't have got that. Good battle. Congratulations. Good battle. Yeah, well done. Okay. Round difference. So, this, so we're doing the last round, but just for kind of... Um, just for vibes. Round difference yeah. as well, though. If you do if you do end up getting in a relegation battle with, with Vastaki, then this could be crucial. It doesn't seem likely, to be honest with you. Sam Goz brings us our first Who Am I? And as always, we're playing for round difference because somebody got battered you know, in the first two rounds and the last round, there's not that much excitement. So I'm sorry, okay? But you know, you're, you're only here to answer the questions yourselves anyway. So anyway, Sam Goz, three points. He asks, I played with Muller, Messi and Kevin Prince Boateng. Bang, is it Eric Chupo moting? I'm gonna say, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave it. Wow. For two points, my father managed me in the 2010 World Cup. Very cute. Sergio Aguero. Yeah. No, my, oh, yeah. Oh, um, oh my God. Uh, Father-in-law at the 2010 World Cup. Oh my God, I've, my head's gone now. Oh, I, f I felt like that was a clue now. Um, God, I'm absolutely blanking here. Higuain. <laughs> For one point, I'm currently at Royal Antwerp. The manager that is not playing. I've been sacked at my two previous jobs of Wolfsburg and PSV. Bang, Mark Van Bommel. Two. Right. Mark Van Bommel. Yeah. Who was that? Was it Marco Van Basten, the, the, the manager then? What, what, in 2010? Yeah. No, it oh, was no. Van Marwijk. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Mikey, you're closing in on a clean sweep here. So, you know, let's see if you do that. For three points, this comes in from Ardit. I have played with Arturo Vidal. Sergio Ramos and Memphis Depay. A lot of help on that one. I don't know. All right. B -b 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 bang, bang, Alexis Sanchez. Claudio Bravo. For two points, I have played for four Champions League winning teams, but have only won the Champions League once. Oh, this my is God. awful. This is man. so hard. This is so hard. I don't know how I'm not. not I, I, there's no one's coming to mind at all. No. Three. Uh, bang, is it um, Alfonso Davis? Mm. No. Hammers. <laughs> for one point, I retired at the club that I played my first professional game for. Very, very cute. Bang, is it Arjen Robin? It is. Oh, oh. oh. mad. Yeah. So Vidal at Bayern, yeah. Ramos. Ramos at Real Madrid. Yeah, for... Jeez, yeah, forget about that. Pat, you can avoid succumbing to the clean sweep if you get this right, on the three points and the three points only. So, time to turn your brain on, because you've been poor today, some would say. Uh, Rami brings us this question, and for three points I have played with Malalas, Alexis Sanchez, and Johnny Evans. Malalas, Evans, Sanchez. Chengi Zunda. Boom. Oh, ho, ho, wow. Wow. Switched it on. Where was that? <laughs> Where was that all matter. game? <laughs> Fair play. Fair play. Schenke Zinder, so where, where, where was that? Roma, Leicester, Marseille. Nice. So Whoa. yeah, good knowledge from you there, Pat. I take the Eventually. game 2-1. Yeah, luckily you weren't as on form earlier in the match, otherwise it could have been, <laughs> um, yeah, could have been tough. But uh, yeah, I don't know what is going on on screen right now, but the, the leaderboard <laughs> is there. I think uh, Doogie's game against Hamill means he's probably still ahead of me on goal difference, but yeah, you'll, you'll take a look there um yeah well played congratulations and, uh yeah we'll I hope um, you do it hope you thank you to do it cheers did, did doogie beat hamill he beat him very comfortably very comfortably <laughs>
It was actually a bit embarrassing for Hamble, to be honest. It was a bit embarrassing. Well, that's good. Um, so, yes. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, go and watch all the other ones because, yeah, there's, there's, there's loads of others, especially the Sam versus Henry. If you've not seen that, that is like an all-time classic. Um, yeah. So, yeah, go and do that, and we'll see you, see you next time on the spaceship.